All right, you guys, the show's over. Start swinging those picks. Hey, you, soldier. Get back on the job. A little hard work will take your mind off of it. Oh, guardhouse Ravenel. I might have known it was you. Come on, it's costing the government a lot of money to make a soldier out of you. So fire me. I don't need the job. You need something. You're mighty close to getting it. Listen. Don't you crowd me, big man, because I don't like it. You've been on my back for a week. I'm not taking any more of it. You got three seconds to start swinging that pick. You mean like this? Back off! Stay away from me, all of you. Get out of the way, everybody! Back off! I'm warning you. I'll kill the first guy that tries to stop me. I'll kill you. Hi. Hello, Corporal. You know what? I just lost $5,000. For heaven's sake. Yeah. I bet myself that much you wouldn't come. I told you I would. I know. I thought if I won $5,000, I wouldn't be so disappointed if you didn't show up. That's a compliment. I think it's one of the nicest ones I've ever had. Soldier named Ravenel went berserk on a work detail. Slugged an MP with a pickaxe, shot another one, got out of the camp in a red and white convertible. I'll call you back, Bill. How long ago was that? He's got a couple hours start on us. What about roadblocks? Yeah, we got them on every main road. I don't know how they're gonna stop him. What do you mean? The convertible belonged to a girl. Ravenel took her and another soldier along as hostages. That's how I got out of the camp. The guards couldn't take a chance on hitting the wrong people. You say he shot an MP? Yeah, he's armed. He got both their automatics. He's only been in the Army six months. Well, that's long enough to learn how to handle a gun. Let's check on those roadblocks, all right? Well, he hasn't showed up here yet, Marshal. Well, we know he was headed for the border. He hasn't made it. He shot his way through a roadblock outside of Bisbee. They turned him west. See, that'd be Highway 92. The border locked up. You have to be coming through this way. Yeah, we'll be waiting for him. But what do we do about the hostages? I got a daughter of my own, Marshal. Well, he must be low on ammunition. I'll tell you what, if he comes through here, draw his fire. But don't try to stop him. Well, that's good with me. I like my rattlesnakes without fangs. Lose it. If there's any trouble, she'll get it first. Good day, folks. Hot enough for you? It can get hotter. Hey, what is this? Everybody out. 
Come on. You too, baby, out this side. What do you guys think you're doing? Leave us out of it, mister. We're on the same end of the gun you are. You shut your mouth. I'll do the talking. Now pull the car up and fill up the tank with gas. Check the oil, tires, and water. If you get any wild ideas while you're doing it, you remember what I told you? I remember. Well, get at it. I could have put that right between your eyes. You believe that, citizen? Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. Get that car and lie down. And stay down. I told you to get at it. Hey, uh, what's your name? Laurie Miller. Laurie Miller. That's nice. What's with you and Soldier Boy? I don't know what you mean. Oh, sure you do. How long has it been going on? I met him at a dance in Bisbee last weekend. He asked me for a date. You know, you'd be wasting your time with him. He's a gentleman. That's what I mean. I'm nothing. Now, with me, you got to have yourself a drag. No, thanks. Eddie? Never mind, Eddie. You know how you can find out? Please, Eddie, don't take a chance. Drop it. No, stop it! Stop it! Leave him alone! Now, you listen to me, soldier boy. And hear me good. I'm going to leave you here for a few minutes. I'm going to take her with me. Now, if you make one move, just one move to call the police, you know what I'm going to do? Yeah, I know. Tell me. You'll kill Lori. You got it, soldier boy. <sighs> Come on. Get out of the car. Take your jacket off. Hurry it up. Just keep minding your gas pumps. Come on. Look at your head. Kid, you're hurt. I'll be okay. I'll call the sheriff. No. He's got Lori. He'll kill her. Where's he gone? I don't know. He'll be back. We just have to wait, that's all. Just wait. You play it square. You're buying gas. convertible with two kidnapped victims. Got it, thanks. What have you got? They've checked Raveno as far as San Alder. He knocked over a hardware store there. Well, we can't count on him running out of ammunition. That's right, Frank. He cleaned them out. 150 rounds. Yeah. That's the San Alder. That's just north of Nogales. They must have given up on trying to run the border. 
When he crashed through that roadblock on 92 just outside Bisbee, he went through here. See, we got roadblocks set up here, here, and here. I can't figure what he's doing up there. What about the roads through this section? Oh, these are all burrow trails. Must be driving that convertible like a Jeep. Oh, fine. He's only half our problem, Frank. Still got the girl and the soldier. How are we going to take him? Got to run into one of these roadblocks. Let's go. Ravna won't hesitate to kill either or both of those hostages. It's a desperate man. Fast. He's got a lot of tricks. We better come up with a good one this time. We've got him pinned between here and the river. And all the bridges are cut off. When he sees he can't cross that bridge, he's going to have to double back. That's the reason we've got to keep this man boxed in. How are you going to separate him from the girl and the soldier? Well, we'll have to figure that one out when we get to him. Buck? This crossing you figure you'll pick. Well, if it was me, I'd try the Bonita Bridge, Frank. But I'm not so sure I'd try any of them. What do you mean? Well, he can swim across, you know. In fact, this time of the year, he wouldn't even have to swim. There won't be any more than three feet of water in that river. Well, I hope he tries it. It's got to be a lot easier to take on foot. You're right. Stop the car. This is your country, chicken. Where's this Bonita Bridge? It takes you across the river. The river? Well, how far? About 30 miles ahead. Police will have the bridges guarded. You can't turn back, so why don't you give up? You shut up. I'm thinking. Well, if we have to cross the river, we'll cross it. But just me and her, you get out. Not without Lori. You can't leave him way out here. I'm giving you a break. Now, you climb out of this car, I'm gonna blast you out. Do what he says. I'll be all right. I'm not leaving you with him. Please, Eddie. It's better than you getting killed. A whole lot better. Take off. Go ahead. Hey, we picked the wrong bridge, Frank. He hasn't tried any others. Control calling Marshal Morgan. Control calling Marshal Morgan. This Morgan back to Corey. Go ahead. Frank, we just picked up one of the hostages. Ravenel put the soldier out on the road. What about the girl? We still got her. The soldier says they're heading your way when they left him. They should have been here hours ago. Keep looking. He's got to come. Okay, Corey. <laughs> Where are we? How would I know? Hi. Say, uh, me and my wife are lost. We'd like to use your telephone. We'll be happy to pay for it. Don't have a telephone. Oh, well, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. How about your husband? Is he around? That crumb hasn't been around for years. Well, maybe you can tell us. How can we get across that river over there? Bridge, 12 miles north of Benita. Oh, that one won't do. Is there another? So go back the road and turn right. 20 miles straight ahead to the highway. Nothing in between? Nope, not unless you want a way to cross. Well, uh, how deep is it? Three feet, maybe a little more. Three feet? Get out of my way. What is this? I said, get out of my way. Madam, are you in some kind of trouble, honey? Yes.
that old lady? That's your vacuum sweeper hose. It'll keep the water out of the exhaust. If that river is not too deep for the generator or the battery, then we got it made. Why do you have to torment that poor girl? Why don't you leave her here? Why don't you shut up? The mister used to have a shotgun for hunting rabbits. If I had it now, I'd fix you. on every road clear to the river, and he's gone. He probably slipped past you. Not a chance. I tell you, Frank, we covered every route, and all the bridge blockades are reported in. Well, maybe he ditched the car and waited across the river. He's not going to get very far on foot. Well, he can't carry the car on his back. Frank? Yeah? Driving all across the river with the car. Let's go. That's got to be a tourist. When they're not going anyplace special, they're always in a hurry. Yeah, I'll be back in a minute, Sam. Hey, take it easy, friend. I'm coming. Fill up the tank and give me some service. Yes, sir. Service. Uh, where are you folks headed? No place in particular. We're just seeing the country. Yep, and you got to get there before it's gone. Uh, think you running some rain someplace? What, in this country? That's the truth. It hasn't rained in four years, but where'd you get all this fresh mud? You just fill up the tank. Never mind the entertainment. Well, I was just trying to be neighborly, but it sure beats me where you can get all this fresh mud on your car this time of year. Well, figure it out on your own time. Yes, sir. I'd like to know the answer to this mud myself, mister. Where did it come from? Now, look, is there a law against having mud on your car? No, but I'd like to uh, see your driver's license anyway. Sure. What are you doing, God? channel with you. Now get behind the wheel. Miss Morgan to control, go ahead. Ravenel just shot a deputy sheriff at Miller's service station. How bad is he hurt? He's alive, but that's all. Where's the service station? About five miles west of Oracle Pass. Ravenel should have been through 20 minutes ago. There's only one side road. If he takes that, he's done. It's a blind canyon. Okay, we'll check on it. Well, that does it. We'll have to shoot him out. How about the girl, Frank? You can't get a half a dozen people killed to save one life. We'll get her out some way. Looks like the end of the road. But this is a dead end, isn't it? I don't know. I've never been here before. can't turn back, that's for sure. We probably have company back there by this time. Come on. We go the rest of the way on foot. Come on.
Well, he's up here all right, Frank. See the car tracks? Yeah. Well, he'd have to have wings to get out of here. Yeah, we're going in after him. You can't do that, Marshal. He's still got Lori. I know that. If we crowd him, it'll be easier to save the girl. Pete, you and Earl stay with Eddie. No matter what happens, only one of you leave him. Now, let's go. <laughs> go to the left. Take her back to my car. Right. You sure it was a tricky one, Frank? Yes, he was. If you'd have played it straight in the army, you might have been a general. Yeah. Now? Just a dead private. Pete, stay with me. 